What's going on you guys? Lit Man Tuck is back at it again and today I want to talk about The Castle of Noobs, book three of the series and you know just more more good stuff, more good stuff. So I'm just going to like name out a character and then I'm just going to give a quick breakdown and uh, Jim the main character is very interesting. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Jim. So Jim is turning out to be quite the hero. He's taken in refugees left and right, and his town um, is built just enough. It's, the town is basically in ruins and shambles. Last series, he took in some refugees, and they were able to become workers. They built up the town a little bit, but now there's a war going on to where there's even more ref refugees. And he has an advisor, and an advisor is telling him, this is more refugees that we can take on. And Jim, he is of the mindset is if there's a refugee and we can take him in, we will take him in no matter their strength. And a lot of people, you know, they get mad at him. They get, they're getting up in arms and they're like, hey, you know, if um, they have a little bit of PTSD. So these refugees, they were starving. Jim took them in. But now when Jim is trying to take in more refugees, those refugees are having memories of starving. They're like, no, man, we, we don't need to take them in. And Jim's point is like, look, how you get here? I took you in. So what you talking about? You know? And so they was like, all right, man, he, he kind of backed him off. And so now he's taking in even more refugees. He's growing his town. Um, and then uh, there's also a castle he needs to take over. That's basically what the entire book is about. And so, you know, he's going against goblins, wargs, um, and just, um, you know, some demons and, and just it's more. It's just more. It's pretty much the same, but he's adding more. It is a great level progression in this book. And, and of course, um, Jim is kind of, a, uh, I would say, a spell sword where he can do many different things. He has uh, kind of a limitless ability to where he can pick up any skill. And his familiar is getting stronger. His badger, his, his badger, I can't remember his name right now, but he has a badger as a familiar who can transform, who can change his size so he's a regular size badger and then he can become bigger like the size of a person and then he can even become the size of a bear and so he, he's huge and so he he is a great um he definitely adds to the table and he's funny too he adds that comedic value to it him and the demon familiar um they both add that comedic value now here's the thing that's driving me crazy i can talk about this because it, it started happening in the uh the first book and it happened more in the last book but what's her name bashara bashara is the uh the wizardess or the lady or whoever the hell she is that uh jim was able to capture whenever he defeated that one like the puma the puma gang and she's in servitude to him and uh the thing is every time jim looks at her she reminds him of something great. She reminds him of his wife or she is the most beautiful and stunning woman in the world. But every once in a while, when, when, um, you know, when he looks out of the corner of her eyes, she's this scraggly woman with a mean face. And so during, throughout the book, throughout last book and throughout this book, it is so obvious that she has some type of glamor that she can put on men and it's starting to get really bad. But, but the, the thing is, anytime she uses it, uses it on Jim, He's building up a resistance. He doesn't even know it yet, but the more she attacks him mentally, the more he builds up that mental resistance. So eventually, hopefully, Jim will figure it out, figure out what she's doing because it's getting bad. Even though she's in his service, she is doing whatever she can to, you know, like she's trying to take him to bed and all sorts of stuff. So a very dangerous uh, character. She has such a powerful glamour that the badger is also, I wouldn't say in love with her, but every time he sees her, he wants a belly rub and so that's funny another thing that's funny about it is the badger uh by the people is looked upon as some type of little demigod you know they have a, his own you know holiday dedicated to him so some funny stuff going on where the badger is trying to maintain his masculine frame uh he doesn't want to look bad in front of the people because they have all these expectations from him and and back to jim you know he's developing a more of a mayor he has some challenges his way because they're, they're taking on more people and so other people are trying to challenge him. Um, I'm not going to spoil uh, the, the stuff. I'm just going to talk about uh, a little bit more about Jim. Now, I, I like Jim a lot. Now, he's not one of my favorite characters, and here's why. Uh, he's a great character. Many things to him, many facets to him. 
Me personally, I like when characters start to go dark. And Jim, he's not he's not becoming a he doesn't have like a like more of a dark side. He reminds me more of a Goku from Basketball Z or uh, not Basketball Z. Um, Goku from Dragon Ball Z, where he's he's very powerful. He's picking up powers really fast, but he's also very honorable. And the things that he has to do, like all the fighting that he's doing, is not bringing on a dark side. Uh, he does miss his wife, and he's having a conflict, but it's more of a moral conflict. And uh, the characters I like, I like when characters, uh, they're good guys, but the more they kill, the more they go to war, uh, the more this dark side comes. They don't become evil. But they get to a point where they don't really give a damn. Jim, I like Jim. He's a great character. It's not my favorite type of character because he gives a damn. He always gives a damn and he's always a good guy. And there's no dark side. The only dark side that he has, you know what? Let me take that back. He does have that demon familiar. And, the, and he tries to put thoughts in his head. But he will immediately say, hey, wait a minute. That's not my thoughts. What's, what's going on? And so instead of just kind of riding with it. And, you know, just slay a few extra, um, a couple extra people by accident, you know, and then like, oh, no, what do I do? He's not doing any of that. And so, you know, the thing is, I like that about characters. That is my favorite thing. But whenever I read books, I don't go looking for it. So I'm not going to uh, take a star away from a book because of the, their character is more of, more of an honorable type. That's just something that I want to point, point out, one of my preferences. And just in case you see the review and you like a certain type of character and you be like, oh, okay, that's good to know. Uh, you know, I love the Joker. I love characters that go dark. Like uh, I did a review on War Aeternus where um, Lee was the main character and he kind of had like that dark side to him where he was like, where they have to like, hey, they have to reel him back. But you know what? With Jim, that demon uh, on his shoulder all the time and he increased his psychic link to the demon. And so there's other books that's coming out we may see a darker side of Jim. We may see him start to go dark. So anyway, that's all I got for that, man. I hope this was helpful to you. And yeah, I apologize for being out for a week. Work has been very busy. I've also picked up a new project where I'm making a uh, an online course. And I didn't understand what kind of massive task that is. And so, you know, uh, I'm going to slow down a little bit on the reviews where I may do just one review a week. Uh, or I may record multiple reviews in one day. I don't know. And I'll, I also have a different format that I'm going to try out for the reviews. And so I'll be counting on your feedback to see if you like it. Oh.